Alright, so welcome back to another video. In this video, we're going to learn what is a function. So basically, functions are defined usually as f of x is equal to 6x plus 4. Right, it's always something x is equal to this. You could also treat it as y is equal to 6x plus 4, right? You're more familiar with that. Basically, what it's asking is that we're just going to plug in this value, whatever value they give us, in for every value of x. So if they asked you for f of 3, simply all we have to do is plug in 3 for the values of x's. So in this case, we only have one value plug in. So this f of 3 is equal to 6 times 3 plus 4. 6 times 3 is 18. 18 plus 4 is 22. So it's just as simple as that. So let's look at f of x is equal to x squared minus 6x plus 3. So what if the question we're asking for x or f of negative 2? What does this mean? It means we plug in this value, negative 2, for every value of x we see. So we're going to have to plug it in right here, x squared, and we have to plug it into this x right here, attached to negative 6. So when we do that, that gives us negative 2 squared, right? We substitute negative 2 for the value of x minus 6 times negative 2, substitute negative 2 for the value of x, plus 3. If it's just by a number, you just keep the number in the next step. So now we simplify. Negative 2 squared is negative 2 times negative 2, which is going to be positive 4, right? 2 times 2 is 4, negative times negative is positive. Minus 6 times negative 2. Negative times negative is positive again. 6 times 2 is 12. And then we plus 3. 4 plus 12 is 16, 16 plus 3 is 19. So the value of f of negative 2 is positive 19. So what if the question we're asking for f of 3? So it's kind of the same rule. All we have to do is plug in the value of 3 for the value of x. So that's equal to 3 squared minus 6 times 3 plus 3. We substitute 3 for the value of x. And as you can see, 3 squared is 9, negative 6 times 3 is negative 18. Remember to keep this negative in front of this negative 6 by multiplying, and we add 3 to that. 9 minus 18 is negative 9, negative 9 plus 3 is negative 6. So the value of f of 3 is equal to negative 6. So basically, if you guys understand that you just have to plug in that number in, this makes solving this question pretty easy. So if g of x is equal to 3x squared minus 4 and f of x is equal to x minus 7, what does f of 9 of 3 equal to? So what we need to do when you see a double function is evaluate what's inside first. So what's the value of g of 3? g of 3 is equal to whenever you plug in the value of 3 for the value of x inside this equation, the g of x equation. So g of 3 is equal to 3 times plug in x, 3 squared minus 4. Keep the numbers, substitute x. 3 squared is 9, 9 times 3 is 27. Always do x minus before multiplying. 27 minus 4 is 23. So the value of g of 3 is 23. Now what we do is we substitute that value in for g of 3. So now we have to evaluate f of 23. Right, you see how once we evaluate the value inside, we evaluate that value. So that's how we got g of 23. And now what we do, simply we just evaluate f of 23. So f of x is equal to x minus 7. So we substitute this value x for that. We substitute 23 for the value of x, giving us f of 23 is equal to 23 minus 7. 23 minus 7 is 16. And that's all there is to do this question. So this covers the majority of function and what it means. All you have to do is plug in the value of x for wherever you see it, and then you'll just have your answer. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.